Good morning. We've been working as much as we can getting this yard the way that we want it. And uh, we are planning on building a new shed. It's, I don't think we're gonna start working on that for a while, but uh, we wanted to get the yard finished and the foundation going. And so we ordered our next truckload, which is 57 stone. So now we will shovel that all back figure we'll put the 57 stone around the perimeter of where the new shed will go and then we're going to put a concrete slab to build the shed on. <laughs> well the sun was making the picture look bad but now I can't even see. <laughs> so um, yeah so we'll um, it's just going to be a slow process we're going to do things piece by piece and bite by bite until we can get it done. So right now we're going to shovel all this 57 stone into place and I believe it's Monday that we have the concrete ordered so we got some more work ahead of us but let me get the start shovel. We did get a new wheelbarrow so it should be a little bit easier. <laughs> let me get to work. It's weird, there's like vents in the side of my hat letting in the sun, it looks weird. <laughs> uh, I got this uh, craft paper and I'm going to roll it out on this, um, this little place where I'm starting here. Right there, we're going to put, I'm going to roll all that out so that it, um, to keep the grass from growing back. We already sprayed some grass and weed killer on it. So if you look real close, this is what my whole yard looked like before we put the sod. There is, these could be grass, but that's not grass, that's not grass, that's not grass, that's not grass, that's not grass. <laughs> There's more weeds. So there is grass, but and look at those. This is what I don't like. And those are all over the yard, but not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. We got nice sod, St. Augustine growing, and it's gonna be. <sighs> Let me show you this 57 stone. Here's a close-up. That's what size it is. And it's limestone. And that is the giant pile of it we'll be scooping today. There is it after. Still need to flat it down with a rake a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now I need to move on to the back. Now I'll put start. Now I'll start loading it in the wheelbarrow and taking it to the back.
day's work. Uh, we got the whole rock pile gone. I need to get a hose and spray off that fence. And let me show you in the back what we got. And there we go. We'll plant some grass over there where it's sand. We didn't want to put the grass first. We needed to make sure how much uh, rocks, how far the rocks would go. So we got it all. Got a nice edge here to um, transition from the yard and all of this, a nice walkway to the back. And this is where, see we already have a low uh, base layer of concrete poured. So it just doesn't really look too good, but we'll, that w the rest of the concrete will go up to match the height of that curb there. So yeah, it's been a busy couple of weeks. Uh, I'm glad we are finally having the time to, to do the projects that we really wanted to do. And so once this is done, uh, after the concrete's poured, we'll take our time thinking about um, trying to decide what kind of shed we'll build. We want something large enough where I mean, you see from this how far we can make it and we want to make it as large as possible to be able to put cars in there and work on them no matter how hot it is or cold it is so it's it's gonna be awesome if, if we can get this have a real real shed to work in a real shop <laughs> then that's that's our goal so we'll get there we'll get there it's gonna take time and money and a lot of hard work but we'll be able to get it done I know it. So thanks for watching and you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.